Travel Express train tour. This two-mile, 22-minute train ride will take you through a working plantation of pineapple and other crops, often featuring fields in all stages of growth, from planting to harvest. To our right are the grounds of the plantation garden tour, where guests can take a leisurely stroll through eight different mini gardens and get an up-close view of a variety of plants, flowers, and native species while listening to stories about life on the plantation and Hawaiian heritage. Just a few announcements as we head out into the plantation. For your safety and those around you, please stay seated. Keep your head, arms, legs, and any devices, including selfie sticks, inside the train at all times. Please refrain from eating or drinking, and if you should accidentally drop something outside the train, there are numbered markers along the train path. Just tell us the marker number where you dropped your item, and we'll be able to retrieve it for you upon our return. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Roughly half of the dole pineapple grown in Hawaii is sent to various stores and restaurants throughout the Hawaiian Islands. The other half is shipped primarily to the west coast of the United States, with some pineapple even making its way to Japan. So, how can you tell if a fresh pineapple sold in a store in your hometown is a dole pineapple grown in Hawaii? Just look for the tag. If it says Dole Royal Hawaiian Pineapple on the tag, you've got yourself a genuine Dole pineapple grown right here in the islands. Here's a bit of history on the pineapple. The Hawaiian word for pineapple is halakahiki, which means foreign fruit. It is believed that pineapple first originated in Paraguay or Brazil. Carried aboard 15th and 16th century trade ships, pineapple was soon found growing as far away as Mexico. Australia, China, and India. Now, some of you may be wondering why the soil is reddish in color. Well, it's because the decomposed volcanic ash in the soil results in high amounts of oxidized iron, which in turn causes the reddish tint. The high iron content in the soil is good for growing pineapple. So how do you know when a pineapple is ready to be picked? Generally, you want to select the pineapple that is plump and fresh looking. In other words, the leaves in the crown should be fresh and green, and the body of the pineapple firm. Keep in mind, a large pineapple doesn't necessarily mean the fruit will be better tasting or any riper than a smaller pineapple. Also, the color of the shell is not necessarily a sign of maturity or ripeness. Once the pineapple is picked, it will not ripen any further or get any sweeter. So, the sooner they are eaten, the better. If you don't plan to use a fresh pineapple right away, store it in your refrigerator, it'll keep longer. And if you're interested in learning the proper way to cut and core a pineapple, check out our free sample some fresh cut pineapple. Here's some trivia for you. Did you know that pineapple is an excellent way to cap off a heavy meal? That's because fresh pineapples contain the enzyme bromelain which is a natural digestive agent that breaks down protein. And for you aspiring chefs, here's a cooking tip. Use fresh pineapple in a meat marinade to add flavor and to help tenderize the meat. chocolate industry is relatively new, but is quickly establishing itself as a source for some of the best and rarest chocolates in the world. A few miles north of Dole Plantation is the Waialua Estate Cacao Farm, run by Dole Food Company. there's a large reservoir out here. It's called the Tanada Reservoir and was constructed in the early 1900s. 
The reservoir holds roughly 155 million gallons of water and is used to irrigate the pineapple fields and other agricultural crops in this area. Well, our story of the pineapple just wouldn't be complete without mentioning the most influential person in Hawaii's pineapple industry, James Drummond Dole. James Dole arrived in Hawaii in 1899, and the following year he bought a 61-acre tract of land right here in Wahiwa, where he established his first pineapple plantation. Early on, James Dole knew there would be a huge market for pineapple outside of Hawaii. However, the only way to reach this market was to pack and seal the pineapple in cans. As a result, in 1901, James Dole built the Pineapple Cannery here in Wahiwa, which marked the start of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company. In 1922, James Dole bought the island of Lanai and converted it from a cactus-covered island with 150 people into the largest pineapple plantation in the world. Another agricultural product that played a major role in this area was sugar. Back in the 1950s, there were over 20,000 acres of agriculture land in this area. Roughly half were pineapple fields, and the other half, sugarcane fields. Hawaii also produces some of the best coffee, which has been growing in the island since the 1800s. Well, we hope you enjoyed the tour. There's a lot more to see and do here at Doe Plantation. Test your directional skills in the world's largest maze. Stroll through the plantation garden or cool down with the world-famous Dole Whip inside the Dole Plantation store. If you plan on making your way to the North Shore, turn right as you exit the parking lot and head north on Kamehameha Highway for about 10 minutes. Besides having some of the world's best beaches, you'll also find dozens of unique shops, art galleries, and restaurants. Mahalo for taking the tour on the Pineapple Express. See you again soon. Aloha.